Hello, welcome to Verbling. My name is Joe. Today we're going to focus on writing and specifically we're going to focus on conditionals. So we're going to wait for everybody to join. Hey guys. Hello everybody. Can you guys hear me? Yes, of course. Yes. Good, good, good. Okay, um, I'm just getting things ready real quick. Um, so give me one sec, and we will get started. Okay, cool. So it looks like a lot of people are here from the last class and some other people I've seen before. Philip, how's it going? Hewan, Junaid, Sebastian. And Wolfie, cool. All right, cool. So um, most of you probably know each other uh, from other classes, but we'll just go ahead and have everybody introduce themselves for those who are new here. So I'll go first. My name's Joe. I'm from the United States, from Arizona, and I'm learning Spanish and Portuguese. Uh, so we'll start with from the very left with Ali. Are you there? Hi. Hello. Hello, Ali. Uh, yes, I'm here. Where are you from? Uh, I'm from Schenectady, New York. From New York? Yeah. Ah, cool. So, have you lived in New York your whole life? No, I'm just here for six months. And where are you from? I'm like, from, where were you born? I'm from Pakistan. From Pakistan. Okay, cool, cool. Welcome. Okay, uh, Bermil? I'm Vermeil, I'm from Dominican Republic. Okay, cool. Um, Philip? Yeah, my name is Philip, I'm from Poland. From Poland, oh yeah, cool. Uh, Huyen? My name is Huyen, I'm from Vietnam. Vietnam, okay, cool. Uh, Junaid? Hi guys, uh, I'm Junaid, I'm from Iraq, I live in the United States, Arizona. Cool. Uh, Marco? Hi, uh, I'm from Ecuador. Ecuador, cool. Uh, Sebastian? Hello, I'm from Chile. Chile, cool. <laughs> Wolfie? Hi, I am from Netherlands. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Wolfie from Netherlands. Okay, ooh, we have, ooh, Norbert. Norbert, are you there? Okay, sounds like his microphone. He's he's getting that adjusted. Cool. Okay, well, welcome guys. Oh, Norbert, you're there? Yes. All right, cool. And will you tell us where you're from? I am from Hungary. From Hungary. All right, cool. Okay, guys. Well, I'm glad you're all here today. Today, we're going to focus on writing, and specifically, we're going to focus on conditionals. So that that means um actually, well, does anybody know what conditionals is? Can anybody define that for us? I don't know, but the example, uh, if I use the word if, mm -hmm. it's conditional. Exactly. So it's something like, it's like a, a what's it called? Um, hypothetically, it's like a, it's not a hypothesis, it might be a hypothesis, so it's like, hypothetically, if I, if, I were going to the store, what would you like? So it's using like would um, and a little bit of the past tense. So um, I'm going to share with you guys this document and uh, we're going to do it like some of my past writing classes where everybody's going to be able to participate even if you're not in the classroom. And what we're going to do is um, we're going to, I have a few questions uh, related to conditionals, where you have to use the conditionals, and we're going to be writing them, and then um, answering these questions, and I'm going to be correcting them, and then that way you guys can see the mistakes that other people are making, and um, you'll learn that way. So, uh, click on that doc. I'm going to open it up. I'm going to share my screen. I'm going to open it up so you guys can see, and um, we'll get started. So, um, 
the situation is imagine you are part of a political party and you are working on developing your policies for the next election so um, first section we're going to focus on is crime and punishment um, so the first question is would you bring in the death penalty if so for which crimes so it's like if you were to create this policy would you include the death penalty in one of your policies or for certain crimes would you want to use the death penalty would you feel like that was appropriate so um, these might be a little bit difficult if they are if you're if you're struggling let me know and I'll help you out but just write your answers below and make sure to include your name after that and then um, we'll start going through this and correcting them how to write how to write uh, you should just refresh the page and you should be able to write below if it's not working try hitting return so that you can add a new space because somebody might already have that spot taken so try that and it should work and um, I'll give you maybe two minutes you don't you don't need to include a lot maybe like two sentences and then write your name and we'll go over those Hola, buenas noches. Hola. Buenas noches. <laughs> And make sure to include uh, like capital letters starting the sentences and also a period or exclamation point or any just the punctuation that you need to end the sentence. And don't worry about making a mistake because everybody's going to make one mistake here, here or there. So it's just part of the learning process. Also, so cool. what? <laughs> what's cool? That we are all writing right now. Oh yeah, I know it's so cool because you can see everybody. Like I'm looking at it right now, and yeah. you know we have like ten people writing. So yeah, make sure to include your name after uh, your sentence, so that way we know whose it is. Um, unless you don't want to, you don't have to put your name, but it'll it'll just help to know who's is who's so that way we know that everybody has written who's in the class at least okay so give it one more minute to finish up and then we'll start going over them Sorry, Joe. I don't know how to write it. <laughs> Shoot. Um, okay. You, here, I'm going to send you the link one more time. I'm going to post it on the Google Hangout and also the Verbling uh, Hangout. Okay. And then click on it and um, refresh the page, and you should be able to write write it. Is it working now? Yeah. Okay. Good. Good, good, good. Okay, so it looks like almost everybody's finished up. Um, so we'll, we'll get started with the first. If you're still writing, continue writing. Uh, we'll start at the very top with a few. So, okay, so let's see. One sec. Okay, 
so the question was, would you bring in the death penalty? If so, for which crimes? So uh, first one we have, I would bring in the death penalty for murders who rape and kill women or kill a child. It happened in the early history of my country, but murder did not get a big penalty. Okay, so we have a few errors here. Um, good job, Norbert. Um, I would bring in the death penalty for um, for murders. Um, uh, you could just say for murders. Uh, um, you could say you you would probably change this to raping and killing women. All right. Um, because you you want it all to to be with four. So it's four murders, four raping and killing women. Um, because that that sounds better. Um, or for raping and killing women, comma, um, or killing a child. So four, and then you're gonna have um, the the verb plus ing. So killing, and then instead of i a child, um, since it's general, you're gonna want to say children. Um, it happened um, in the early history. Um, of my country, but murder did not get a big penalty, or you could say death penalty. Yeah, so good, good job there, Norbert. Um, okay, next we have. I would not bring capital punishment because it's not going to solve any problem. If I would bring the capital punishment, people don't stop committed crime. It would not be rational solution. Okay, so good job, Wolfie. We have a few errors here. I would not. Um, so here we're talking about the death penalty. Um, so I would not bring capital punishment. It sound it would probably sound better if you if you would say just the death penalty. It is the same meaning, I think. Capital punishment and death penalty. What is the difference between capital punishment and death penalty? Um, I'm not 100 percent sure, so I'm gonna look that up real quick. Capital punishment. You, you you're probably right. Um, there is no difference between. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Um, Okay, good job there, Wolfie. Uh, yeah, capital punishment. Good. I would not bring um, bring in the capital punishment because, and make sure one space in between words, because it's um, apostrophe not going to solve any problems. So that's plural. If um, I were, so here it's a little confusing. If I were to bring in the capital punishment, um, comma, people would still do this. So people would still commit crimes. So that's the same thing as saying they wouldn't stop committing crimes. So people would still um, commit crimes. So here, so it's if I were to do this, blank, so if I were to bring in um, the capital punishment, people would still commit crimes. Uh, space after the period, it would not be a rational solution. I spelled that wrong. There we go. Rational solution. Okay, so you see that, Wolfie? Yes. Um, if I were, so you need a space here. If I were to bring in capital punishment, people would still commit crimes. Yes, exactly. It would not be a rational solution. Okay, good job there, Wolfie. Um, Okay, next we have, if I were the president, I would bring in the death penalty for murder and rape. So here, Hewen, um, good job there, but since you only have two things, you're going to want to put and. So you, you use, um, if you were to have a third thing, you would say murder, rape, comma, and maybe something else. But since you just have murder and rape, you're just going to add and. So you see that, Hewen? Okay, good, good, good. Um, okay, if it's found that helps to stop crimes, I would approve the death death penalty for murderers, kidnappers, rapists. So same thing here. Good job, Ricardo. Uh, you're gonna add and rapist. If and then um, apostrophe. If it's found that it helps to stop crimes, I would approve the death penalty for murderers, kidnappers, and rapists. Good job, Ricardo. Um, anonymous, okay. If I were the president, I would give That's the me. death. That's who? Who's me? Uh, Ahmed. Oh, Ahmed, when okay, I okay. Went, uh, when I was out of prison. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, good, good. If I were the president, I would give the death penalty uh, to 
Um, and so instead of saying who, you're going to say those because you're referring to people. So like the people. So you're not saying the people. Instead, you're just saying those to those um, who want to do suicide. But instead, instead of saying do suicide, it's better to say commit suicide. That's just a better verb that you would use with suicide. Yeah. Um, but good job there. Um, okay, here we go. Lelo, I would bring in the death penalty for violation and murder. Um, so violation, you might want to be more specific, but that's good. Violation of what? Just being more specific. Violation of, um, I don't know, certain laws, period. Good job, Lelo. Uh, I would bring in the death penalty for sex crimes against kids. Ronnie, good job, Ronnie. Yep, that's perfect how it is. Um, Sebast, I would not bring... And then don't forget in, preposition, in the death penalty. I don't know what else I could say. But I have no choice. It would be for rape or murder. Good, yeah. So I would not bring in the death penalty. Um, but if I had to, so a way you could say that is, but if I, um, here you're going to want to say had no choice. Because it's past tense. If I had no choice, okay. it would be for rape, murder. So good job there. Um, Philip, I would bring in the death penalty for brutal murder. I saw a river of blood. If I'll be president, the floor will clean. Will be clean. Okay. <laughs> interesting. Interesting. Uh, so I would bring in the death penalty for brutal murder, and then you you probably want to put a period, um, and then you might want to say, um, uh, only if I saw a river of blood, because it's river of blood. Um, and so we're being more specific, so we want to say a river of blood. And then a space after the period. If um, you could say, if I, you could say, you could either say, if I were president, or you could say, uh, yeah, that's probably the best. If I were president, um, uh, the floor would be cleaned. You could say, would be clean, or. Um, if I am president, referring to the future, but since we're doing conditional, you're going to use the past tense. So if I were president, and then the conditional, so you're going to say would be clean. Um, but either way, you, you could also say the same thing by saying if I am president, meaning that like if you're if Philip, if you were running for president, then you might say if I am president, the floor will be clean because that's future. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, exactly. You you probably already know that. Uh huh. Um, good job there. Um, no, I wouldn't because I think it's something horrible. And then you might want to put a period. Everyone has right to life, no matter what. They can pay their crime in another way. Good, Raul. Um, so here you're gonna want to say everyone has the right because we're being specific, like a specific right, the right to life, comma, no matter what, comma, or you might put a period there, and then. They can pay for pay for um, their crime in another way. Good job, Raul. Uh, last one, Junaid. I think in the case of a mass crime, the death penalty must be established. So here you might want to say, um, I think in the case of a mass crime, like a, you might want to say like mass murder crime, because that's what you mean, right, Junaid? Yes. Yeah. In the case of a mass murder, or in the case of a mass murder. Um, comma, and then uh, connect that, the death penalty must be established. Yeah, so that's good. Um, that's a good sentence, but um, try, if you can, in the, in the next one to use the conditional and use the, the, the form would. So, like, um, I would bring in the death penalty if there was, or if there were, a mass murder. Um, like, if there were, a you would say it like this. Yeah, yeah. If there were a Mass murder. Uh, I would. So that's the conditional. I would bring in the death penalty. Or you could say, um, we would. No, no, no. Sorry. Uh, the death penalty would need to be established. So that's saying the same thing, but using the conditional. Okay. Thank you. Uh huh. Okay. Um, so. Uh, We'll do one more from this section. Um, which number would you guys like to do? Two, three, four, five, or six? Two. Two. Okay. okay, we'll do two. Okay. Um, would you send more people to prison? 
So this is, this is just a short sentence. One word response probably would be good. So just go ahead and do that. I'll give you, you know, two minutes, three minutes. Try and get through more than, you know, five of these for this class. So just try and write. Um, don't worry about making mistakes because we'll correct them together and then you'll learn from them. So if you make mistakes, that's good. It means you're, you're making progress. Mm. And if, you, if you're struggling or need any, uh, if you have any questions, uh, please ask. Feel free to ask. And don't forget to write your name after them, please. people who has been found guilty without <laughs> <laughs> sorry no 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 it's okay I do the same thing whenever I'm I'm writing text messages to my friend I I read them under my breath <laughs> sorry sorry <laughs> Okay, so it looks like everybody's pretty close to finishing up, so I'll give you guys one more minute to finish. Um, and if you're still writing when I start talking, don't worry about it. Okay, so it looks like most of you are probably done. Um, Ahmed is still working on his, but we'll start with Norbert's because he's the first one. Um, okay, so the question was, would you send more people to prison? Uh, Norbert wrote, I would change the prisons. You might want to say, uh, you could say prisons, but um, just to be more specific, you might want to say change the prison system. But either way, pris prisons is okay, but prison system sounds better. Um, who had power, strength to murder or take either power or strength? Okay, um, you could say those who had. I would say um, what I would do is add those because you're you're talking about people. Um, so those who had um, the power. Uh, I think I would say power. Power probably sounds better. The power to murder or to commit a crime. Um, must work and produce the food um, and then right here instead of what a lot of people do this I do this yeah that exactly the food um, and produce the food that will and then here you're just saying food so it's be eaten because you're saying um, food which will be eaten so will be eaten yeah um, I would send more people to prison especially in my country but prison must not be a hotel for them and people who pay taxes must not pay to support these people. Good, 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 good. Very, very uh, in-depth, Norbert. There is a must not to be or must not be a hotel. What was it? Uh, must not to be a hotel oh, or oh, must oh. not be a hotel. Uh, but what prison must not be. 
Must right. not be. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good question. Okay. Um, next we have Ahmed. If I were the jailer, I would not send anyone to the prison, but I would educate them well. Because the prison will not solve their problem, but it will make it harder issue. Exactly. Good, good, good. Okay, so if I were the jailer, um, you could say jailer, but I'm trying to think. Um, I think you might want to say judge, because the judge is the one that sends the people to jail. So if I were the judge, comma, good use of conditional, I would not send anyone to, and then here prison is just general, so we don't need the, um, to prison, comma, but I would educate them well. Good, I like that. Um, and then you can take out this period and say, because the prison will not solve the problem, um, comma, but it will, you could say, um, comma, it will only, so it's saying the same thing, but instead we're using only instead of but, it will only make uh, the issue harder. So good, good, good job, Ahmed, or Ahmad, sorry. Um, okay, uh, right. next one. If the prisons weren't a school of crime, I would send all the people who has been found guilty without any concern. So if the prisons weren't, um, so prisons is plural, so we're going to need this other part to be plural. If the prisons weren't um, schools of crime, um, you could say that schools of crime. I would send, um, so here, send, um, that's the verb you're going to use instead of sent because that's past tense. I would send all the people who have. So people, a lot, a lot. this is a very common mistake. People is plural. So because of that, you're going to use have instead of has. So people, okay. Thank who, you. Ha uh -huh. people who have been found guilty without any um, concern. Um, so I would send all the people who have been found guilty without any... Um, you might, instead of saying without any concern, you, you might want to say without hesitating. Okay. Hesitating is like like if I'm going to say something and then I hesitate, like I wait a second. Um, so it's like you're saying that you would just do it. You wouldn't hesitate. Okay. Thank you. Uh -huh, good job. Uh, okay, Philip, I would like um, send more people to prison because humanity is evil. And today so stole my bike from my flat. Oh, wow. Is that true, Philip? No. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so here, uh, good job there. We have a few, just a few minor errors. Um, I would like, and then two, send more people to prison. And then because, this you can just connect it, uh, make it one sentence, because humanity is evil. Perfect. And today, um, you want a noun, so someone stole my bike from, um, and then here, just my flat. Perfect. Good job. Um, okay. Uh, here we go. Um, if we'd send more people to prison, we would have to make even more prisons. So for me, it would be better to rehab these people instead of send more people to jail. Okay, so here, um, good job, Sebastian. A few errors. Um, so here you're going to want to say, if we, because you, you could just refer to your country, if we were to send, um, if we were to send more people to prison, we would have to make even more prisons. I, there yeah. I, I, I don't like that sentence because I use prison try the word prison twice. Oh, okay. So, you know. Um, yeah. That's if we were to send I more people. Oh, okay. If we were to send more people to prison, we would have to make even more. You could say jails. Or actually, I already used jail. <laughs> oh no. Okay. Well, well that doesn't. Buildings that's okay. That's more, okay. Yeah. yeah but, let's yeah. say. More yeah, locations. Must, uh, okay, locations. You maybe remove two if we were to send. Yeah, you need the two here. You need that there. Right. So if we, uh, okay, because I'm just gonna give you a short lesson real quick. Because you have the verb to be, um, then plus another verb. Um, yeah. Yeah. So. Here you're conjugating the verb to be. We were, so that's um, that's past. That's like past tense of the the we form, and then you have another verb, um, and it's if you're saying if, so it's conditional. If we were, and then um, the form is to, and then 
um, other verb. Yeah, yeah, so, I, I am with you, but uh, yeah. there is if, if I wear something, something is subject. But here we don't have a subject or something. Exactly, we have a verb. So, um, yeah. you're asking... We miss so, a subject. We miss a subject, isn't it? Um, no, the, the subject is we. So, like, if we were to do yeah. this, if we were to send um, more people, so the subject here is we, because we're, we're doing the action. So you're just, um, you're just saying, if we were to do this action. But um, the other question, or the other example you gave was, if I were, uh, let's say, a cat. So here is a cat. You're saying, um, I is the subject, and the verb uh, part of it is were, so which is part of the to be verb, and then a cat is the noun. So you're saying if I were a cat. So you don't need to say to cat because that that one makes sense because it's not a verb. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Does, does that answer your question? Or are you still confused? Are you there? Yeah, yeah, I get it. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh huh. Of course. Okay. Um. So for me, it will be better to, or you could say, here we're using conditional, so it would probably be better to say it would be better to rehab those people instead of sending, um, them. You could just say them to shorten it, because them refers to the people, those people, uh, sending them to jail. Good job, Sebastian. Um. Okay. If they had a crime, I would send them to prison. The law is reason free from emotion. Okay, good job, Junaid. Um, if they instead of saying they had a crime, um, you could say usually the verb that's used is commit. If they committed a crime, so anytime um, you you see crime and you're, you're looking for the action to do a crime, usually it's going to be commit. So if they committed a crime, I would send them to prison. The law is, and you might want to say based on reason, um, and then period, it is free from emotion. So good job, Junaid. Okay, thank you. Uh -huh. um, if I were you, I would not do this job for earned money. Um, I don't know who wrote that. I don't know if that is, I, I don't think that's referring to the question. Um, so we'll move on to the next one. I would not send more people to prison if it is not necessary. However, if there is an increase in criminals that threatens the harmony of society, I will. Okay. So good job, human. A few things here. Um, I would not send more people to prison if it is not necessary. Perfect there. However, if there's an increase in criminals, you might want to say just, you could say criminals or you could also say crime. Um, um, and it threatens uh, the harmony. You might want to just say the the peace of society, or or yeah, that probably that sounds okay. I think it threatens the peace of society. I would because you're saying if there were right here, if there were an increase in criminals, so that's the past tense. Then we have the conditional, but otherwise, good job, Hewan. Um, Ronnie, okay. I would not send more people to prison, but I would leave them in jail and then uh, more time. So you might want to just say add a preposition for more time. Otherwise, good job, Ronnie. Um, next we have Wolfie. If I were judge and people committed crime, of course I would send them to prison. What would you do if would in my place? Um, so you would say, if I were a judge... Um, and people committed crimes, comma, of course I would send them to prison. So you need the to because you're, you need to explain where you're sending them. So to prison. And then a space after the period. What would you do if you and then were in my place? Good job. Good job, Wolfie. Uh, Raul wrote, depends on the crime. Sometimes people go to jail for silly things, so I'm not sure. Maybe I wouldn't send more people. Good, okay. So um, you wouldn't want to start a sentence with depends. You might want to just say it. According. Yeah, you could say like it would depend on the crime. Um, 
just like that. And then period, oops, period. Sometimes people go to jail for silly things, so I'm not sure, comma, um, or actually period probably. And then maybe I would, wouldn't would send more people. Otherwise, good job, Raul. Um, okay, we have a few more. Yeah, there's plenty of people free in the world that should be in prison for their outrageous, outrageous crimes. We'll just say, um, good job, Simona. Um, yeah, there is. There's plenty of people free in the world that should be in, that should be in prison for their outrageous crimes. Perfect. Um, Ahmad, if I were the president, I will approve the death penalty without hesitating for murder and raping crimes because, if not, so many criminals will ignore the justice. Okay, so that's from the other question. Um, but if I were the president, I, here you're going to say hey, would. So hey, it's would. another. No, would, because you're, if you have were, it's past tense. If you want to use will, which is future tense, you're going to say, if I am president, then um, I will. So you're using, so this is the way it works. Present tense um, goes with future tense. And then yeah. the other one is um, past tense, exactly, with conditional. Yeah. So that's the way it works. So it's if I were, or whatever whatever uh, subject you want, if I were blank, then I would do this. So that's that's the format for that. That's the formula. Um, I would approve the death penalty without hesitating for murder and rape, rape crimes, because if not, so many criminals will ignore the justice. Good, good, good. Um. Okay, so it looks like we have a question. If I would be, no, no, no. Um, I don't. I'm trying to think of an example when you say you're not going to say if I would. Um, that just sounds funny. You're usually going to say if I if I were. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So if I were, um, you could start it off with the other way. You could start off with the conditional and say I would do this if. I were a cat or something like that. But yeah, good question, good question. Any other questions before I move on to the next? No. Okay. I have a different class. Okay. Um, if the people deliberately spoil, I think, the public heritage, I would call the police to send them to prison. So yeah, if the people, um, here you're going to want a verb, um, or you're going to want to change your, your tense. Um, so if the people deliberately, um, here you're going to want to put the verb in front of deliberately. just sounds more natural. If the people were to spoil, um, we're going to take deliberately and add it to the end because it sounds better. Um, spoil the public heritage um, deliberately, I would call the police to send them to prison. Perfect. Good job, Peter. Um, okay, okay. Um, if I w so, Ahmad has a question. If I were the president, I would approve the death penalty without hesitating. So you're going to want to capitalize I. So everybody remember, whenever you have the, the subject I, um, it's going to be capitalized. If I were the president, I would approve the death penalty without hesitating for murder and rape crimes. Um, because comma, if not, comma, um, you don't need so. Many criminals would ignore, and then here you don't need to say the justice, because remember justice is, is something general, so it's going to just be justice. Um, okay, somebody asked, why can't I write if the people spoiled? Um, because here we're doing conditional so you could say if the people spoiled like um, if the people spoiled the milk um, I'm trying to think that kind of sounds funny if the people spoiled the milk then I, um, I wouldn't be able to eat breakfast so that's that's a common mistake I think by native speakers. Like they'll they'll just conjugate it without the were. They'll just say if 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 let's say like let's say let's say Johnny, let's say if Johnny 
spoil the milk. Um, okay, I, so this is future, so if Johnny spoiled the milk, I won't be able to eat breakfast tomorrow. So that's when you would use, um, that's when you would use spoiled. Um, but since we're using conditional, so let's say if Johnny were to spoil, or let's say, um, because Johnny can't spoil the milk, the milk spoils on its own, so if the milk were to spoil, I wouldn't be able to eat breakfast. Does that answer your question? Whoever's asking? Uh, Do you understand? Yes, I understood. Yeah, did if that Johnny's answer? Johnny's called in past. In past. Yeah, so this is past, but it's like a... This is just regular... This is... I don't know the, the technical name. I think it is, this is like... Um, preterite. So it's like Johnny spoiled milk, but you need were to. So like this is past tense. Um, like but like, but this is like if it were to happen. This is hypothetical. This is like okay, all. Okay, we can say if Johnny were to spoil the milk, I would not go to take it breakfast. Can Can you say that one more time? If Johnny were spoiled the milk. I wouldn't be able to eat breakfast because it's uh, called uh, passive, a passive, a passive uh, phrase. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, yeah. Passive. Yeah. Thank you. Um, so yeah, you would say if Johnny were to spoil. So here you just have to spoil. Here you have spoiled. So that's yeah. past tense. This is um, spoiled is active past tense. Mm -hmm. And were to spoil the milk, you're using the to be verb with it, so it's passive. Because yeah. like mm -hmm. here, yes. something like the the subject is doing the verb. Johnny spoiled, but Johnny can't spoil the milk spoils itself, so that's yeah. why it has to be passive. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Good. 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 Um, any other questions? No. Okay. Um, so we have 15 minutes left. Do you guys want to do one of these, or do you want to do like a different section? I have um, other questions related to health, related to how about language? Let's do uh, let's do actually this one's related to education. So I'm going to add this question um, right here. So this is the last one we'll do. Um, would you make all your country's children learn foreign languages? If so, which languages? So just write your answer below and um, try and get it done. I'm going to give you probably three minutes and write your name after and try and write complete sentences, please, and then we'll go over those. And try and use the conditional to. Um, so try and include try and include would, because that's that's what we're trying to focus on. Like when you would use this. So if you're making a uh, the question at the beginning was if you're part of a pol uh, political group and you're creating policies for your political party, um, what would they be? So you could say, you know, if I were president or if I were in charge, um, both of those work. That's using the, the, the passive. I think that's what I'm going to actually look that up real quick. Um,
Hmm. Okay, so we'll wait for you guys to finish up real quick. Okay, so it looks like almost everybody's done. Um, cool, cool, cool. Okay, so I'll give you one more minute and then we'll start going over these. Okay, so now we'll start going over these. So we'll start with the first one. Actually, Wolfie's working on that, so we'll start with Norbert. Okay, okay so the question on, was... On. I'm finished. Oh, you're good? Okay, okay. Uh, so the question was, would you make all your country's children learn foreign languages? If so, which languages? Um, so Wolfie wrote, I would not make them... Instead of, I would prefer them teach to our languages the other country's children. Okay, I'm a little confused by that. Um, Wolfie, can you explain a little? I would not. You would not make them learn. So I would not make them. Um, I will not make them uh, learn foreign languages because instead I would like to teach them the old languages to other countries because I would like to see other countries learn. For to learn our languages. Ah, okay, okay. Instead, I would prefer them to teach our languages in other countries, or or you could say to other countries' children. That's what you're trying to say. Okay. Countries. Um. Okay, other countries' children. Good, good, good. Okay. Um. Norbert, uh, English is really important nowadays. I had to learn germ the German in the elementary school, but it was completely waste of time. If I would study in English from I was eight, I could speak in English more fluently right now. English is fun. We need to show this to the children. Okay. Good. Okay. English is really important nowadays. I had to learn German. You don't need the. Yeah, um, cause, so German in you could just say elementary school. You don't need to say the elementary school. Um, in elementary school, but it was A, and then here, complete waste of time. If I were to study um, English, uh, if I were to study English from when I was eight, I would be able to. I would be able to speak in English more fluently right now. English is fun. We need to show this to the children. Good, good, good. So you would make children learn foreign languages. Um, good, good, sorry. good. Okay. Oh, I just said. Um. So you would, you would want student, you would want yes, children to yes, learn the language. Yes. Good. Okay, Ahmed, Ahmad, uh, learning language is very important nowadays because there is demand to discover other cultures. So if I had children, I would learn them English language because it's a very popular language all over the world and it makes others understand them well. Okay, so capital letter here. Learning language is very important nowadays because there is a demand to discover other cultures, period. Um, then we'll take out the so and just start, if I had children. So children is plural, so you don't need S. If I had children, um, and then here, I would teach them English. Um, and you, English, when you say English uh, and teach, people understand that it's the language, so you don't need to say, like, the English language. You just say English because it's very, it's a very popular language all over the world. And 
it um, you could also say and it, it would help um, it would help them be understood well by others so that's what you're trying to say it would help them be understood by others well so it would help them be understood by others well so you're trying to say that it would help you could also say it would help others understand them well same thing good job good job Ahmad uh, Hewan okay if I were the authority uh, I would make all my country's children learn foreign languages especially English because they would be able to access a big source of knowledge that my native language only cannot provide okay so good job human we have a few errors here you could say if I were the authority that, that's okay um, I would make all my country's children learn foreign languages especially English because they would be able to access a big source um, it might large sounds better it just I don't know why it just sounds more natural a large source of knowledge that my na native language um, uh, here you can just say does not provide them with um, because it's your native language which exists right now so you're saying it doesn't provide it wouldn't it doesn't provide them with you could also say wouldn't provide them with I would be able they would be able to access a large source of knowledge that my native language wouldn't provide them good job human um, okay uh, Rick few more Ricardo yes I would if I were the president I would order to teach in all schools English because it is very important to know it good 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 yes I would if I were the president um, I would order um, and then here you want to put the net the the thing that you would order so all schools so we're gonna cut that and put I would order all schools to teach in English because and then it which refers to um, English because it's the last noun so it is very important to know and then okay. there you go thank you good job yep good job Ricardo uh, no. what happened someone erased my oh no oh, I'm yeah, sorry Sebastian was, was I don't it? know um, do you want to rewrite it real quick and I'll go over the rest can we do control Z and do uh yeah try I don't know I mean there is uh, yeah there is endo. maybe the the one who do that awful thing could write yeah it. it it was probably an accident no, um I'm pretty sure I, I, it was on purpose <laughs> well okay. because the, the I think if I use Control Z it will only it will only do the changes that I made I don't think it has to be the person who accidentally deleted it. To hit Control Z, I think Junaid. Yeah, the person do the, did this job like this. I'm sorry, Sebastian. I wish I could figure out who did no, it, but I think it was it was probably an accident. Just if you can, um, you could rewrite it, and I'll go over the rest, and then we'll get to yours. Um, okay, Emad, I would try to learn all the children English language in my country if I were able to. English is the world one, the world's one language and science language. But if they don't want it, I I sure won't force anyone to. Okay, um, so here you might want to start out with, if I were able to, I would try to teach English. Um, so here, um, I'm just changing up your order a little bit. Teach English to all the children in my country so that sounds a little better so you just wanna maybe work on uh, your word order a little bit um, so if I were able to I would try to teach English to all the children in my country English is the um, you might wanna say number one language or like and it's actually not the number one language but everybody thinks it is English is the number one um, language and science language. Um, then period, um, you might want to say instead of but, you could say however, if they don't want to, um, I sure wouldn't. So here you could say won't but wouldn't since we're using conditional. Um, I sure wouldn't force anyone to. So good job there, Emad. Um, okay. 
Uh, Junaid, here's yours. If I were a minister of education, I would put the English language as a major material for two reasons. First, give them an opportunity to study in the future abroad. Second, the children are able to learn a second language quickly. Okay, good, good, good. So don't forget to capitalize the first letter. If I were a minister of education, I don't think you need to capitalize minister or education because it's just general. If I were a minister of education, comma, um, I would put the English language as a major material for two reasons. First, um, it would give them an opportunity to study abroad in the future. Uh, second, the children um, would uh, the children are, so here it's present because they are capable of learning a second language, so the children are able to learn a language, second language quickly. So the way you might put that in conditional, you might say the children would be able to learn it quickly. Would be able to learn it quickly. So good job there, Junaid. Thank you. Uh -huh. um, okay, absolutely yes. It's very important that children learn foreign languages. First of all, English, uh, or first of all, English, second, French, and in this historic moment, even Arabic or Chinese are very important. I think it will open their mind and it will be useful for their future, especially for job. I'm 28 and now I'm realizing that if I studied more English in the past, maybe now I'll have a better job. Good job, Simona. Um, okay, so you don't need to capitalize English unless you're just you're, you know, you're shouting it like, first of all, English, second, French, and. So, um, we'll assume that you're shouting. <laughs> uh, first, so you might want to say first, English, second, French. Um, and in this historic moment, um, you might want to just say, like, you could say, na and, and nowadays, uh, nowadays, even Arabic Chinese um, would. Um, you could, yeah, are very important. You could also say would be very uh, helpful. I think it would open their mind and it would be useful for their future, especially for a job. Perfect. I'm 28 and now I'm real I realize or now I'm realizing that if I studied more English in the past, maybe now I um, um, uh, would have had, or I would have a better job. Perfect. Okay. Uh, Sebastian, have you finished yours? Uh oh. <laughs> oh no, I'm sorry. No, I I couldn't. Okay. Finish mine. Don't don't worry, don't worry. Class no, is okay. over. Uh, today is the end of the world. We are all going gonna be die. We are all all going to die. No, Norbert, it is not the end of the world. It's a, it's a myth. <laughs> okay. Um, it's not a well, myth. <laughs> I think it's a myth. I don't know. Well, I guess we'll all see what happens. Because where I am, it's 6 p.m., so I still have six hours left to live. <laughs> <laughs> 2 a.m. Cool. Okay. Well, I'm glad that you guys all came. I really hope that helped. Um, if you have any suggestions, like if you think that that didn't help and you didn't like the the way that we we did that, um, and you think you know of a better way, please please let me know on the Facebook page, which is facebook.com/slash Joe Verbling. Um, so if you guys have any suggestions for how to make it better, um, something that you know would help you better, please let me know, and I'll try and do it in Thank the future. You also, you. if you if you have any suggestions. Thank you. <laughs> And if you guys have, have any suggestions for future classes, please let me know. But otherwise, thank you guys, and hopefully I'll see you guys next week, and it's not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> thank, thank you. you. Bye. Thank you. All right, bye. See you guys.